I'm going to start with the Liquitex Basics White. And what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm going to cover uh, the bottom in silicone. Maybe like the inside of the cup. So I just put that in there. And I don't have silicone in these paints because I might want to reuse them. I love these little storage, these little storage bags. Um, amazing savings again. Um, so I'm just going to pour. I don't have silicone in the colors. But you know what? I think I'm going to put some in the white. So let me do a little squirt. Squirt. And stir. So if you're wondering why I have two whites, I don't know if you can see, one is actually like a pearl. Super pretty. Um, and one I tried, the pearl is the golden. The new golden ear, uh, that I got, it's new for me. It's the iridescent pearl from the golden liquid acrylics. Um, okay, I'm just stirring my silicone in. And I've got a good consistency. I wonder if Emery would say this is a little too thick even. But I'm gonna go for it. And really get it in there because sometimes I don't get the cells that I like but maybe that's something we all have a problem with. I'm going to try for negative space. So that's why I have so much white. Um, and I have a Prussian blue. And this is the, the Grumbacher Academy Prussian blue. It was on sale at the craft store. Um, I got some going to pour up from up high. I wish I had a setup where you could see it go in the cup. Okay. And I'm going to do more white. I'm just kind of layered on. It's going to be mostly blue and white like a dark blue and white. I kind of want something dramatic yet um, understated. Um, and I haven't done really good uh, negative space yet. What I, I really like in Anne Marie's videos is her Prussian blue just seems to have so many different faces. And with the white, let me put should I put the iridescent? Yes, I'm going to put the iridescent in. A little spray. And spray in here. Let me show you guys the cup. So here's the, so here's the cup. I really would like to try the hammer technique, but I don't know if I would do it, be doing it right. This is a burnt umber with a metallic brown from the folk art that I really like, that metallic brown. Um, and more white. Try to layer it on. I really like what I'm seeing in the cup. A little spritz. And I wonder if some people are saying, you know what, I think that's too much silicone. That might be true. 
Um, and it might be why I don't get the cells that I really want. Let me put some of the pearl. And this is, this does not have silicone in it. This is uh, the ultramarine blue from the Liquitex Basics. It's in there. And it's hard to see because I have the cup primed for you guys to see. Just put all of it in. And there's the ultramarine blue. And then, of course, I'm going to go back with white. Try and get that white to pull it down a bit. See what that does. And more pearl. Don't know if that's going to do anything. And more. Prussian blue. And finish off that Prussian blue. I think I have more than enough paint for this pour. So I'm going to go ahead and do a flip cup. So let me reposition you guys. So you can see. There you go. Okay. So as you can see, I am outside, and sometimes a little of that pearl left over if I need. So sometimes, ooh, the cup is so pretty. Look at that. I don't want to lose any of that. It's so pretty. Um, so I'm going to do this pour and then put the white all around the cup. Maybe mix in some uh, a little bit of the pearl. And <clears throat> we'll see what that little tiny bit of brown did, if anything came with that. And I think I'm ready. So I got my push pins in. Don't have a number on this, but you guys can always, it's not like I have that many that I've done. Okay, I don't, you know, you'll notice I didn't swirl it. I didn't do that. Um, I didn't put the stick in because I'm gonna kind of just let it sit. And I'm gonna put the white all over. and see where that, how that kind of works. Let me tilt the canvas a little bit to kind of get the white around. I don't know if this affects the cells, <clears throat> if it helps them come down a little bit. But you can see that pearl already is really pretty. And then, let's see, maybe I can save that pearl. And hopefully I won't need more white. Um, I have a lot of paint, so. I'm really hoping that the white will stay on the outside. Let's save a little pearl. And that I have enough paint to do this. I should. And you know what? If it's not exactly what I was trying to do, hopefully it'll just be pretty. So it's okay if it's not perfect. That's what I really like about this kind of art that it kind of just takes on a life of its own and you just kind of have to lead it to help it kind of grow. So I like that about this art. 
And it would probably help if I put on my gloves, right? So let me put my gloves on and then we'll do the flip. I can already see it starting to come out and it looks amazing. So I'm really excited to see what it does in the white. Um, do the sides after but let's make sure that there's enough paint for it to kind of flow through okay so should we do the flip oh flex I was gonna do the flex I could show you guys okay, if I move it what's happening here because it's so pretty already so let me move some of this stuff out of the way with my coffee my coffee mug you are awesome the wind so hopefully it won't be too windy and we're just about ready to go let me bring that over here oh this is so pretty i did not even need i did not even need do the white part around it. Kind of want some darker blue. Ooh, I see the brown coming through. This is really nice. And the cells are popping today, peeps. They are a popping, so I am a happy girl. As Emery says, we would do our little happy dance. So, doing my happy dance for you, Emery. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to lose any of it. Let me bring it back down. Try and stretch them out. A little, but kind of just want to let it sit and do its thing. Let me see. If I can just add a little bit of darker blue to the composition. that very well may pour off. Um, we'll see. But it doesn't seem to be moving right now. There it goes. Don't want to lose that. Bring it back down. And I'll come to this corner. Don't want to lose too much. And let that drip off a little bit. Oh, these are really big cells. I love it. Let me do this slowly. And it kind of needs some help too. And really, really slowly, people. Just tip it over your edge. Try to preserve what you can, and the rest you gotta just let go. There, that's it. I'm not gonna do more because my cells are already starting to warp a little. 
And let me bring it back down to the, this corner. Get those cells to kind of straighten out. So much for negative space, attempt two. And down there, so those cells can kind of straighten out a bit. Oh, come on, this is ugly. I don't really want that. So. And there we go, no more. Straighten it back out a little. The cells are a little. And a little bit back this way. Oh, I really like what's going on. I mean, I think I just have to face the fact that my cells are very often going to be um, not perfect and zigzaggy, but I think, it, you know, there is no perfect when it comes to this art, and that's what's really great. I'm stick for this, because it's got white right on the corner, and I kind of like that, but... Yeah, let me pour a little of the pearl, actually. See if that does anything. So pretty. I think this is one of the nicest ones I've ever done. Um, I kind of want to bring it down a little. Maybe I don't want to lose much more. There. No more. I don't even want to torch this. Now I understand it when Emery says that. I really don't. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. I'm so glad I got this in because I was thinking, oh, I don't have enough time to get in a pour. I have to clean my house before the people come to help me clean my house. <laughs> so I'm glad I just went for it. And a little matching corner spot here. Maybe I'll get some of that darker blue right here. Oh, and I got a cell. Love it when that happens. And I don't really like to use a brush because I think it gets it um, muddy. I like to kind of just pull it down with the palette knife. This one's really gorgeous. Um, that Prussian blue. Oh man, Anne Marie, thank you for that. Thank you for all of this. Um, yeah. It looks pretty amazing. I'm really, really, really happy with it. So let me take my gloves off and see. Am I gonna torch? Am I not gonna torch? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let me touch up the sides while I think about it. And, wow, this is really pretty. So I'm glad that the brown didn't come through too much. I tried to sandwich it in there. Let me get you guys down to see, because this is really, really awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Uh, what's funny is that my daughter is obsessed with YouTube. Here it is. And she was always watching YouTube, and I didn't understand what the draw was. She, she loved, like, all those kid channels and the toys. They play with the toys. Until I found Anne-Marie, and then Lily, and... Um, others that I'm still trying to discover. Here's the sides. Got to make sure fly doesn't go in this one. I'll tell you guys, that pearl is really pretty because you can see it coming through right here. And the way that it comes through the cells is just beautiful. I was thinking maybe I would try... This would be so great for a large pour. I was thinking maybe I would try uh, to do the flowers today on this little painting. Um, and of course, a very, like, one of the best, most beautiful ones are, uh, I did not cover the back. Here's this side. But it's really just gorgeous. I just love it. And this will be for sale in the Etsy shop very soon, and I'll get you guys better pictures and videos. 
Let me see if I can get you back up. Uh, maybe I'll torch it a little and see if that does anything. But I'm gonna be careful not to not to do too much. Just to see what happens if anything does happen. So I don't see much happening, but I can get the air bubbles out. And do the sides a little bit, but I kind of want it to be controlled where the bubbles go. I don't really want to do those big blue areas because I like the big blue areas. Um, oh, I like that. That's pretty. Maybe I'll do just right here. I think I need more butane. Yeah. Ah, oh, it is so pretty. Well, thanks you. Thank you guys for watching. And I will do another video soon. Please like and subscribe if you, if you like it and you want to subscribe. <laughs> All right, more soon. If you have any comments or questions, um, let me know and I will answer. Thanks very much. Paint on.